I found out about ERADS when I was a surgical resident. I was training in a trauma center, which gave me amazing training, but there wasn't enhanced recovery of any sort going on. And we had a guest lecturer come in, uh, Connor Delaney from Cleveland, and he spoke about enhanced recovery. And it just really resonated with me. It turned a light switch on of, why aren't we doing this with all of our patients? There are clear benefits of this. That's sort of what has guided me on my course with enhanced recovery, with my personal research, and with my mentorship. Some of the challenges are first having the whole team on board, having buy-in from senior leadership, from the nursing staff, from the perioperative staff, from the floor staff and your ancillary staff to understand and agree with the pathway and really want to be a part of it to help patients. Having the same metrics, patient-related outcome metrics or quality metrics that you're measuring, and the same way to measure them, and the same goals to address with your enhanced recovery program. And then it's a matter of time and resources also, of who's capturing the data, the effort put into it, where the data is being kept, how it can be accessed, and how it can be pulled for quality improvement. I found out about Seamless MD from a colleague, uh, Leanne Feldman in Montreal, who was doing some great enhanced recovery research work and trying to see what resources she was using to get this through so effortlessly is how we stumbled on the app. What excited me about the app was the patient engagement part of it. Um, it's very graphic. All of the information that we talk about with patients before surgery and during the hospital course is there and accessible at their fingertips. So things that they might not absorb or remember is easily accessible for them. So that's exciting from the patient side. And then from the provider side, just having all of the data available, patient-related outcome metrics, quality characteristics, um, anything that we can use for quality improvement and for hospital quality improvement as well as physician practice improvement is readily available. It makes patients accountable. They know what they're expected to do each day. They actually have a checklist that they have to interact with and they have reminders that come up through either text messages or email, which are very handy. So the patient is in charge of their own care and responsible. The nurse navigators are fantastic if you can get one. They're also expensive and overworked. With the app, the ability to personalize it for what I want to look at next was very exciting. You know, right now we are consistently lowering length of stay, consistently lowering complications, ER visits, readmissions, um, but looking at opioid utilization and communication with the patients after the post-operative period. In general, people don't have the best knowledge of enhanced recovery or the best success implementing it. So this could be a tool to help everyone, as well as helping the staff once it's in place to make their jobs easier.